My name is Mila, where well, I'm from the planet Earth. <laughs> Connection, closeness, intimacy, being close to nature, being part of the nature. Shambhala and like Shambhala doesn't exist without the lake and the forest. It's the heart of the Shambhala is the nature around it. I have I have so strong connection with the forest now. I feel so drawn to the forest all the time. And we kind of have an ongoing conversation without words. <laughs> yes, they have there have been some challenges, but that's what the community life also is about, is learning how to kind of be together and living close together with a group of, of people. It has been a learning process. I think, it was, I think it was really important for me. Understanding better or deeper the human nature and there is no light without darkness. <laughs> so darkness did show up. And I couldn't go anywhere. There is no escape. <laughs> In Shambhala you stay. You stay with what is. And there are no so many distractions. Um, so you actually have to, to learn to deal with what shows up for you. I think it was very important for me to experience that as much as the highs of Shambhala. Effortless living, the joy, the creativity, jamming, swimming, going around barefoot in the forest, having bonfires. I discovered that I can sing. I didn't know that. I actually didn't know I could sing. I found my voice. I found out I can sing. I found out I can drum. <laughs> and I found out that I actually not just enjoy listening to music, I actually enjoy playing the music. It's like, wow. I love it. And I rediscovered painting. Like I have been really, really into painting when I was young, but then it was like suppressed part of myself because like it was never kind of, well, that's, that's not really important, is it? <laughs> so I rediscovered painting for myself. Uh, so a lot of creative energy found its way out not not just that it was like opening up in me but but the the people around me the shambhala crew the other volunteers they made it possible they were supporting in the process they're a big part of this process of unleashing the creative energy and we are all like kind of helping and supporting each other making our steps whatever those steps are and they're very different for all for all the volunteers we need different things but we support each other in all kinds of different ways community is shambhala and I also <laughs> the beauty of shambhala is that yes it is community and it is the people that come and go is the teachers the retreat guests the volunteers but it has the life of its own. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like, even though there is this endless stream of people coming and going, like Shambhala is the thing that holds it together somehow and supports, and it has its own life. It has its own spirit and it's, yeah, 
somehow exists beyond the humans. Big part of this field for me is the lake. It's the magic lake. It's the magic lake. You come to the lake and you ask for what you need and you get it. <laughs> yeah, I think the lake is really magical. And this, uh, so many times, like, I have been washing myself, washing the energy in the lake and getting the support from the lake. It's there for you. And I also feel that the lake is your mirror. Yeah. Whatever you are, it's going to reflect it back. Shambhala shows you what you need to see, it's the mirror and for me the lake is very much like the metaphor for, for this mirror. You look in the lake and you see, well, there are some beautiful parts, there are some ugly parts, there is light and darkness, you, you see it all. You cannot hide in Shambhala, <laughs> it all comes out.